Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. As you can see by the title below, this is on episode 8 of Boku no Hero Academia. And I gotta say, this is another good episode. This one, pretty much we get to see a whole bunch of the other kids' powers and everything. That was one thing I really wanted. I wanted to see a lot more. Even though it didn't show as much, it was still really good. I mean, it's understandable. And they're not gonna have full-blown episodes on, you know, every single one of the heroes versus villain battles. Just like they did with Bakugo and Ida versus... Um, Izuku and Ochako because obviously you know those are the four main main characters so it makes sense that the other ones just show brief things but yeah it was cool to see everyone look, like a, kind of like a montage really of everyone's powers and seeing they're all different strategies and kind of thing first the longest battle we did get to see was of course the guy with the ice power so he's probably going to be shown a lot more I'm guessing one of the top students he yeah was pretty badass he just completely froze the area um, invisible girl couldn't move. She was like, oh, cold, cold, cold. And then hot, hot, hot. This guy could literally, he could, I, at first I thought he was just a freezing thing. But no, he can actually, you know, heat things up as well. So he's like hot. Um, I think his name was like half cold, half hot or something. That was, that's his um, quirk's name. Um, pretty interesting. Every, seeing everyone else's powers as well. This the main premise of this, of course, besides the whole point of showing everyone's abilities and anything, was what was going to happen after i thought at first maybe bakugo would you know feel some remorse or something like that but that's not it at all he is just distraught that he ended up losing to you know um izuku and everything and izuku has a little bit of you know he it, this is pretty much what happens is a rivalry has started it is being lit izuku's passion and everything he wants to become the strong best he wants to pass bakugo and now bakugo his main thing that he wants is of course to be number one he's not gonna let Izuku beat him again and his pat his fuel to be the best is pretty much reignited just like they I love always loved when they kind of have like these little um, you know symbols of what they're saying and everything and this one is like a few his fuse is lit you know obviously because like he is a uh, you know his grenade things yeah <laughs> but yeah it, it was an interesting episode also learning a little bit about all might and his powers and who knows about you know him and izuku and it's pretty much it's the the nurse the principal who was blacked out so we don't know who the principal is probably find out that later and some close friends who we probably find out later as well and then of course um, izuku izuku also almost he pretty much no he didn't almost he told um bakugo about his power but bakugo of course doesn't understand he didn't believe me like what is this bull crap you're talking about i lost to you but that's not gonna happen again and all that kind of stuff and seeing all my rush to him as well like it's okay everyone pride is an important thing and all this kind of stuff. get off from me i can't walk and then he's just like oh what <laughs> and then ochako up top too pretty much saying like what's it called the faded battle between men that's pretty much what it is just like i put in the title guys the faded battle between men the rivalry has started of course between bakugo and izuku and we're probably gonna see that a lot more in the future it was also going to see izuku after he gets you know uh what's it called healed not really fully healed up but seeing everyone come to him and congratulating him and everything and pretty much him making more friends it's just kind of just like at the beginning of the you know when he first did the test and you think after that no one would be all happy, but everyone's like, hey, yeah, good job, really good job, you did good. And just like before, they do it again. Even though, like, some of the people, like, one of the things was they, they have people that not just got went through the test, they got into the school by being recommended. And that, of course, is the one girl that's super smart. I don't know what her power is. It looked like she, some, I honestly don't know what her power is. I saw her putting some big things on to cover the door. It looked like staples, maybe? I don't know, it's kind of kind of weird there and then of course the freeze guy half cold half hot whatever his name really yeah what is he is he is also another one of those and it was just interesting to see you know that there was you don't just have to take the test you can be recommended and these people that are recommended are the best ones pretty much obviously as you can see and um that was pretty much the episode it was mostly bakugo trying you know he, he had that mad face all the time and I swear the voice actor is just perfect for Bakugo. It like really fits well. Music, of course, soundtrack on this one was um, awesome as well. It fit as perfectly like usual. And just the whole atmosphere of this episode, I honestly enjoyed seeing Bakugo progress. You know, he just seems like he's just like 
distraught and just pissed off. He can't believe he lost. And then at the end, things change. Him and Bak um, him and um, Izuku have that you know confrontation, and we get that whole thing, the the battle, of, you know, faded battle between men, and it was just overall a pretty awesome episode to see some like a little push in the direction of what's going to be happening. And of course, the very ending is something I was like, whoa, okay. I was wondering, is this just going to be, you know, how everything's going to be with them just being in school or anything, doing these kind of things? But no, now it looks like we'll have some villains coming in, some weird creepy guy with some hands all over his body, including his face, like, like how are you breathing? But it looks like they are targeting um, All Might and looks like they want to kill him. Like, what, what will happen if, you know, the strongest hero is killed by a villain? So... Can't wait to see the next episode. Probably going to have them attacking All Might. All Might's probably going to have some one of those moments where he can't, you know, be full strength. He goes, you know, gross and skinny kind of thing. And then the kids are going to have to try and do, you know, protect, not protect, but beat him. And we're probably going to see some pretty epic action. Hopefully, that's what I'm thinking. But, yeah, it's really all I got to say, guys. Overall, another great episode of Boku no Hero Academia. I cannot wait for another one. Seriously. Every so far, every single episode has definitely hit. A, it's definitely been awesome for me, to be honest. Like I just, I've been enjoying this so much, and like literally, Sundays are probably my favorite day because I have Boku no Hero Academia, I have ReZero, I have Macross Delta. Literally, just Sundays, my favorite day of this season, pretty much. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, did I say it already? If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I miss you want to talk about, comment below as well. And yeah, until next time, guys. See ya.